Cinema Classics is sponsored by WCBE 90.5 FM, Columbus, Ohio, and is produced by John DeSando. Listen to shows online at WCBE.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Gary Hammond. And this is Cinema Classics. Well, so happy that you've been missing. I know. And now you're back. So let's make a movie out of that. I think that's a good idea. Somebody disappears and then... Then, but who would who would care enough to look for me, John? And who would be technically sufficient enough to find no, me? I would because I'd need you to be on Cinema Classic. But the good thing is you wouldn't have to move out of your apartment or your, your condo here. That's true. Because all you need to do is look into a, a, a screen and this whole movie, Missing, is practically from a screen. It is, well, it is practically, it, well... More than practically. Okay, I mean, practically, it is. Yeah, it's not entirely. There's some. There's a little bit of live action, but yes, but ninety-seven percent. Right. Of it. Yeah. I mean, when they, I think when they, they go down to Columbia, we have shots out there. We have shots out there, and there's a. But there. But again, it's from, it's from a a a, a, a security camera that's out in in the public spaces in Columbia. <laughs> yeah. And when she's at the airport, she has a sign to greet her mother. And we're seeing it not from uh, the camera, we're seeing it from her phone, which is videotaping her while she's waiting to greet her mother. You know, as you're talking about the cameras set up, you know, they, it couldn't possibly have as many cameras as they let you think it is. There's a camera at every, every single place. Every, but it's spending your disbelief, of course. Well, it, I, I watched the whole series of 24 because I would be on the Nordic track and it would keep me on for 50 ah. minutes each show. And it seemed to me that there were there were security cameras all over L.A. It made me looking over my shoulder whenever I was in L.A. And I don't think that that's true there. And it may not be true in real life, but it was really true in this movie. And most of it is really from her apartment, as yes. you started off saying. Yeah, yeah. So it's that new. It's a new kind of adventure. Uh, it's it's mostly digital. Uh, Searching was the progenitor of this, although it's not a sequel. But it's just John Cho starred in that one when he was looking for his daughter. Now this you have a daughter looking for the mother. Yes. It's the same. The producers, right, are the yes. same. And I think the same writers. Yes. So they or both write. Right. Yeah. I think they were editors or something in Searching, and now they're directors here. Okay. Um, and that's I would be remiss if I didn't mention Nicholas D. Johnson and Will Merrick, and both of them were in Searching. So and both of them have written this one. So all right, missing. I'll tell you, they put me through this, and I'm believing every second of it. I'm thinking about the times that I take a plane, and I'm thinking about being uh, abducted in a foreign country, and I'm scared. Uh -huh. And how about you? How are you feeling? I am not, I'm, I'm a Luddite, so I'm not really friendly with all this technology and all the, all the this, that, and the other thing. I have an iPhone and an iPad, and that's about as far advanced as I am, and, and I struggle with it sometimes. And they had me hook, line, and sinker. And this, and this would not be... It, I didn't know what we were going to see. And if you had told me I'm going to go see a movie about sleuths using iPhones and security cameras and computers, yes. and it's all in that format, and I've got to read really fast as people are texting to each other, it, it would have been kind of a turnoff. But there I was in the theater, and that's how it was, and I was riveted at the screen. You know, some of my thoughts were... First of all, I've, I've done a few of these actions that she does. She's 18 years old, and believe me, she is so savvy. Yeah. And she navigates amongst apps and, and everywhere else on the Internet with such skill, it yet it seems believable to me from what I've seen many youngsters who can deal with this. And I'm thinking, I like it. It's, it's got action, and it also got me to think about how many more, how much more I could do with technology. In, even in my own business. In other words, I think it turns out positive for technology I, that, 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 that she searches for her mother. Well, and she's totally, she's a, a good actress, and she's totally believable in the role. And your comment about that, I was once in the gym, and I couldn't get my iPhone to do something I wanted, and I asked a man that was there with his nine-year-old if I could borrow his son to help me with my phone. Yeah. So this, this young woman is totally credible. Uh, she's played by Storm Reed. Right. And she's also a TV person. Well, and her, um, her emotional range, it, uh, not that it's so wide because it's concern and drama and, yeah. and, and some teenage activities, but she's totally believable. Uh, well, Very incredible. I, yeah, and yeah. her mother, played by Nia Long, 
Good actress. It's a good actress, the Mother Grace. Uh, and how many single moms are going through some of what she is in this film? That Hopefully is, not all. I know. But in that sense that, you know, she's got a new bow. Uh, and as things are, are unfolded here for us, he may not be on, on the up and up. In fact, nobody in this movie is on the up and up, I think. <laughs> but our, our, our little, uh, great, our little uh, June, our little June bug, right. you know, she's pretty straight arrow, the kid, the 18 year old kid. She is. But I think everybody else is, in one way or the yes. other, corrupt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's true. And it's revealed, and the layers are pulled back, and uh, the, the boyfriend, uh, the actor, was, was very credible in his role in. Uh, I'll just say playing both sides of the coin. Yes. Uh, Ken Leong is... Uh, I've seen Kevin is... Yeah. Ke yeah. Very good. Kind of dorky, but kind of, you know, but kind of suspicious. Not too, not, not too seemingly suave. Yeah, really right. Really genuine, right, yeah. but very suave. Not very genuine, but very suave. But I'm thinking about how many single moms have found somebody and they're going to take a vacation. In this case, they're going to Colombia. I might have chosen another place. But you are going to Cartagena, <laughs> and, and and how many have ever worried about leaving their eighteen-year-old daughter at home? <laughs> that might now that you mention that, because she was so concerned. Don't answer the door. Don't uh, open the door if there's anybody out there. And she's so concerned about protecting her daughter, and yet she leaves her eighteen-year-old. Uh, and we all know what all parents know what happens when you leave your eighteen-year-old. But in any event, she leaves the eighteen-year-old, and she's and the girl is pretty true to her age group then. Uh, the, the fact that they went to Cartagena reminded me of Romancing the Stone, and it makes me think that nothing good happens in Cartagena. <laughs> I know. And my, yeah, my son loves South America, but he's been mugged more than once. Uh -huh. And uh, the, you, you need to be careful. It's, uh, it's, it's, it, it, Cartagena is a great choice, yes. because it does put you on edge to yes. say, mm, do you guys know what the reputation here is? Because it's a beautiful country, but it still has some danger to it. So, right. so it's, a, it's, a, it's a great choice. Right. It makes it an adventure to go there. Yeah. And it would be romantic to go, wouldn't it? Hello, darling. Take, I'd like to take you to Cartagena. <laughs> I know. And I'll tell you, um, for June, our protagonist, like every other 18, and I had a daughter, too, did the same thing to me when I left, and they had a party to beat the party. She goes on and pick something called, I don't know, Rager or something like that, that apparently is an app that if you're going to throw this kind of party, mm -hmm. it's going to advise you on what to do. I mean, you, no parent is safe in this world. <laughs> you can find anything on the internet. You can. I, our audience can. I'm right? not able to, but there we Yeah, are. and also in many of the, even the superhero films, there's a lot of family involved. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got a dad who's died, uh, a mom who's barely knowledgeable about technology. It seems to me she needs right. to be a little bit more. So you've got some dicey circumstances going on here. Uh, and a daughter who's very attached to her father, yeah. now the mother leaves, and a daughter who is as sappy as she is. It's a really, a really good setup mm -hmm. for action here. Yeah. And she has friends, and I, I love her little friend who was there with her. Right, and, providing su emotional support. <laughs> yes. She was her emotional support animal during the uh, not the most stressful times, but stressful yeah. times. Yeah. Uh, now, frequently in these, um, the police or the FBI come off poorly. How, how do they come off here? I thought they. I thought it was Action Jackson kind of thing. I think they they really were right on the money. And but the reason they were is because she was doing the surveillance for them. All <laughs> right. And uh, she was. She tried to get them involved, and they were standoffish initially, and then she started using her skills with the camera and sending the FBI evidence, which got them excited. Yeah. They yeah. got the U.S. attorney involved. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to think of what... Well, you know what we're going to do? Right. First of all, we're going to tell our audience that they can hear more of our blather. Yeah, hard to believe. Ah, they can. Yes, more. And more. If they go to Double Take, which is on the podcast experience of WCBE's website. Oh, good. Let's go. Yeah. Now, before that, though, you're going to have to advise their audience, our audience, what to do concerning missing. What's your advice? Oh, it's my advice that, uh, that you go and um, you don't even have to suspend your disbelief. Uh, you'll just be sucked in. And uh, it was very <laughs> exciting. Uh, and 
It, and it's in Enjoy. theaters now. It is. You can't stream this, baby. You got to go there and have a hot dog. You know, you and perhaps be very lonely at yeah. the theater. Well, which perhaps. doesn't bother us in any way. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and and try to keep it down as we don't. And when we go with Wayne, it's always a problem. That's true, but we're, we weren't asked to leave. <laughs>